Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I will be unboxing this necklace I bought from Vesper Moth. Um, if you're wondering who Vesper Moth or what Vesper Moth is, it's this awesome artist from Germany uh, who I've been following for some years now. And she has been making these different uh, accessories and necklaces for a while now and selling it on her Etsy. And I've been looking at it for quite a while through her Instagram account and I was really wondering if I should buy them or not. And then she put on this awesome necklace, uh, I think she called it a fighter crystal. And yeah, and when I got it, it was just, it was really, really nice. Like you can see she put in these little moth stamps. When I opened it, they will fall out. I really liked it. It was like just so her it was just like really well made how to like convey her brand into the package in such a sweet way and yeah i really like that she really wrapped it quite well with the bubble wrap as you can see i had a tough time opening it um but i really like that fact because you know mail can be unhandled very unkindly so i'm pretty sure that it will be it will be all right when i open it as, as you can see when i opened it i was yeah, I was just like holding in my hand and just feeling the weight and how the quality was and I was really impressed actually. Not because I had like uh, low expectations or anything, but it's more like, you know, I've, I've been buying my friends uh, necklaces and jewelry and made jewelry myself for a while. And this is just, this is just much better than I've ever tried actually. As you, you can see, it's, it's like everything from top to bottom is like handmade like um, nothing seems like it's pre-ordered it's like she has been finding the crystal and cutting it herself and just put it all together it's, it's just amazing and I really like the fact that it looks like this crystal is like melted together with some sort of lava um, lava stone or something like that and I really like that it seems so I can't even describe it, just natural and witchy and it's just, I'm, I'm really, I really think like this is just t taken from, out from a fantasy novel. So that's really well done. I, I, I applaud you girl, you're really good at this and keep on doing it <laughs> because people like me will buy your stuff all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been wearing this for many days now, I think I got it like a week ago and I've been wearing it every day. I mean, combining it with my different necklaces I have myself and it's just, I really like it and I really like the quality of it. And I really like also that there isn't a, a silver lock or anything actually and most people wouldn't actually like that but I think it's really nice because it makes it so, I don't know, it really fits the scene of it taken out from a fantasy novel, you know? So yeah, um, I think that was that. Uh, so I just want to say thank you so much, Vespa uh, Moth. I really like your stuff and please keep on doing it. I will now move on to my, my little drawing tutorial. Uh, I was combining this video because I thought that you know, this is an art channel and I didn't just want to show you what I got from from Vesper Moth, but it's, you know, I just want to combine the thing that I appreciate other people's art and then showing a bit of mine as well, because I think every artist needs both appreciation and exposure, but also, uh, under, you know, under, people to understand that what they're doing is really appreciated, so yeah. Anyway, onto the, onto the tutorial. So here you can see me um, drawing these dice and these dice are like a normal, um, what do you call that, uh, a normal group of dice you get when you buy a role-playing dice. And this is for one of my friends um, who has been like role-playing for many, 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 many years and he wanted these dice tattooed on his arm. And so he asked me to do it like they were like cast onto his arm, if you could say it like that. So I wanted it to look like that they were actually placed on top of the skin and casting a shadow down. So it seemed a little bit more realistic, but um, I don't like play, not playing, sorry, uh, drawing uh, perfectly realistically, uh, but more comic-like, if you'd say. 
or you could say. Uh, so yeah, um, so as you can see, I actually took the dice and made a light source from the other side, so I'm pretty sure that I had a reference, like a real life reference. And when I did this drawing, I I started with an outline, and as you probably can see, tell and see on camera, it is not exactly as you can see it on this uh, with this angle, sorry, because um, I am not looking through the camera. I am looking from my perspective, so it's a little bit different. So keep that in mind when I'm drawing. Um, but what I try to do is outline the, the dice um, with a pencil. And when I was satisfied with the outline, I began to study which sides had shadow and how dark the shadow was. And then starting with the ones that had the deepest shadow and filling out that part. And as I did that, um, I sort of do that for each side uh, from that perspective I was looking at it with. Um, I made gradually like lighter and lighter moving on to the side uh, that was the lightest. And as you probably can tell, I don't know if, I'm not sure if it tells on, on screen, but you can see that uh, besides shading, I am making like these darker points around the corners. Um, not close to the, the outline, but like very close by it. And that, what that does is that effect is it's actually casting like an extra shadow, so to speak. So you're like, you're framing the, the I don't know what you call that, uh, but the sides of the, of the dice. And I just really like that effect. And I'm actually using this technique on many of my pencil drawings. And I just think it really helps on the depth of the drawing. So that is what I do with each side. So it's not completely, uh, one color but it has like a few like sort of like dents in it um so it just doesn't seem like all that flat and what i do did besides that is of course um drawing the cast shadow so as you can see uh, you can't see my lamp on this picture but the lamp is casting a shadow on the real dice as i'm using for reference and i'm trying to um copy that so to speak into my drawing like simulate that and that is pretty much the technique i use for every single dice um, of course i move them a bit around just to be sure about the perspective and yeah getting no sorry becoming sure of how to draw them and some of them i will erase a bit as you can see in the video speeding it up a bit here um and draw them again because I've become unhappy with the perspective. It's actually pretty hard to do geometric drawings, I realized. I mean, I'm, I know I'm a bit skilled um, with like drawing from my mind with straight lines, but actually doing it perfectly geometrically is, is super hard. <laughs> and I was really trying to do this more or less without uh, a ruler, but I had to have help from it once in a while. So yeah. Um, but besides that, I, I I finished the drawing, of course, but also uh, I decided to outline it a bit with a fine liner, a permanent ink liner, um, in 0 0.1 uh, thickness or whatever you call that. And that is simply uh, to just give it slightly more depth. I mean, it's it's darker than the than the pencil. So um, it will actually make it even more, um, it will give it more depth if you put like the lines on the places where there are the darkest shadows or the highest light source, um, but no nothing in the between. And what that does is actually the same thing as the shadows I drew before, but it's, it's like an extra. So the more shadows and light uh, contrast, the better then it seems more realistic. I guess that, I hope that gets makes sense so yeah so i guess that's that's what i had for you today but um i will be seeing you soon i hope and if you'd like to see more uh, of this then please like my video and if you have some ideas of what i can i can show you or if you have any questions about either the package i told you about earlier or about my drawing and my technique please comment down below
and I will try and answer you as soon as possible and as well as I can. Or And if it's I can't, then I will try and make a video where I answer in some way, in maybe in a tutorial or something like that. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!